Welcome back, my friends. I'm still here playing with this gadget, the Goal Zero Yeti 500X. About to do my second test. The first test, we drained the Goal Zero all the way down to no power while running a 12 volt fridge freezer. Here, we're going to push the limits of the Goal Zero 500X once again and test it with a 12 volt fridge freezer and see if we can make it longer than the 13 and a half hours the fridge was able to run on high power last time. Stay tuned for this next test. So during this test, we'll be using the Winter 62 Quart Dual Zone Fridge Freezer again, but this time we'll be running in eco mode, short for economy, which hopefully takes less power than the last time we ran the test, and the goal zero was only able to run the fridge for 13 and a half hours. Let's get this test started and see how long we can make it run this time. So now we're gonna simulate the loss of commercial power. I have the 12 volt fridge and the Yeti running in my garage for backup purposes. I have the AC cable plugged into the fridge here and the Yeti is fully charged with the solid blue light and the AC cable plugged in the back of the unit. Let's simulate that power loss. Pulling the power out of the Yeti. And also I want to note I've already activated the 12 volt output ports here and that's why the white light is illuminated over those ports. And as the refrigerator loses commercial power, it then detects power in the DC cable here, and it will click over and start pulling power from the Yeti. We're going to see the Yeti go from 99.9 .9 hours available to empty to a much smaller number. This is what we experienced in the last test. But what's going to be different here is I am going to press the eco button on the 12 volt fridge illuminates the yellow amber light and now we're going to let this test run hopefully it will go much longer than the 13 and a half hours it took without the eco more to come folks we are now 13 and a half hours into test number two running the 12 volt fridge on eco power the yeti 500 has been fully drained in the same amount of time as running the 12 volt fridge on normal power this was not expected. We expected to get more battery life out of the Yeti 500. With the Eco feature, we will be performing more testing to draw better conclusions. Since we need to run another test, I figured I'd show you what it's like to recharge the Yeti 500X. Here I'm using two power sources to recharge. I have the power supply that came with the unit plugged into the back, indicating the flashing blue light and that supplies about 60 watts of recharging power and then I've also plugged in a USB-C power delivery cable here and that provides an additional 60 watts of charging power bringing the total to 120 and I've also purchased the 120 watt power 20 watt charger that you can buy for $50 this is the 57 watt charger that comes with the Yeti 500. I would have preferred, of course, that Yeti included the 120 watt charger with the unit originally instead of making you purchase that after the fact. But let's plug this in with the power delivery cord and get this Yeti charged up as quickly as possible. The Goal Zero is now charging with two power supplies. I have the power delivery USB-C cable plugged in here providing approximately 60 watts of recharging power and in the back is the 120 watt charger. We have 3.7 hours until fully charged. Not too bad. Let's get this Yeti charged up and do another test. The goal of this next test is to get more battery life out of the Yeti 500X. So here, I've changed the variables. Before we run the next test, I've added more items into the freezer section, filling up the freezer section here. I'd say before it was probably at 65 70% capacity. I've added three one liter bottles into the freezer section, and in the fridge section, I've added 23 almost a case 12 ounce cans. I'd say this was probably about 60% capacity. I wanted to see what the fridge was like running it at that, and we know we're getting about 13 and a half hours. So now let's fill the fridge further to capacity making it more efficient and see how long we can get out of the Yeti 500X. 
So I'm excited to get going on this next test. But what I'm waiting for are the items inside the fridge freezer that I just added to get to the temperatures I had on the prior tests to maintain some consistency. Currently inside the fridge is 41 degrees. I had that down to below 35 and inside the freezer it's 18 degrees. Prior tests that was sometimes below zero. Here in the garage the ambient temperature is 84 degrees. That has increased during some of my tests. That's been as low as 78 degrees. So I'm noting the ambient temperature and knowing that has an impact on the test results as well. If you're liking this content, please subscribe. I'm about to do a lot of different tests here with the Goal Yeti, with other gadgets such as solar panels, 180 watts worth of solar panel. How does the Goal Yeti take that charge? And the gadgets with the 12 volt refrigerator. Here we've been doing all these tests in a very controlled environment. Next. Pretty soon, going to be taking them out camping, Catskills in New York, and using them in the real world, where it won't be so controlled. We'll be going in and out of those, for sure. So, want to know what performance is like, and we're going to get that next test going real soon. We just began the final test. The Yeti was fully charged. All of the items in the fridge freezer were well chilled, just like the prior tests. And I've disconnected the AC cable from the refrigerator, which is now being supplied by the DC cable connected to the Yeti and the Yeti charging cable has also been disconnected. I want to point out that recently I did add an AC watt volt amp meter here and I'm going to be using the data I've collected there in my final conclusions at the end of the video. Stand by as we let this run overnight and see if we can get more than 13 and a half hours running this 12 volt fridge and we've been pretty consistently getting 346 to 348 watt hours out of the Yeti 500. Let's see what happens next. We're getting down to the end of this test. The Yeti 500 has been running the 12 volt fridge freezer for 15 and a half hours, two hours longer than our previous tests. The changes we made in adding more capacity into the fridge freezer running the fridge freezer on eco power and the ambient temperature here in the room has dropped about 10 degrees since we ran our last test. All of those have had a major impact. I've made four conclusions here in running these tests. Here they are. The Yeti 500X has consistently output between 345 and 350 watt hours while running this test. That's about 69% of usable power when comparing it to the 505 watt hours of full capacity. Number two, the Yeti 500X recharges on AC power at the following rates. With 120 watt combination recharging, it recharges approximately 4.7 hours. With a full, almost 180 watts of recharging power on AC, the Yeti 500 will recharge in about 3.7 hours. I haven't tested the solar panels yet. Please subscribe. That's going to be my next test. Number three, when running a 12 volt fridge freezer like this, please take into consideration that the runtime under best conditions will be between 13 and a half and 15 and a half hours. This is a controlled environment. And as you see, now the test has just ended here and we are minutes 15 hours and 35 minutes for this test number four when running the Yeti 500 to power a 12 volt fridge freezer what needs to be taken in consideration is the performance of the fridge freezer how much power is it going to take this unit that we used here is rated at 65 watts and on regular power it pulls down four and a half amps on the eco power that we used here in this last test it pulls down about two and a half amps the environmental conditions of the fridge freezer, such as how much capacity you've loaded into it and the ambient temperature of the room, all have played a significant impact here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel because next I'm going to be taking a 120 watt panel combined with a 60 watt panel and recharging the Yeti full up. We'll see how long that takes. Take care, everyone.